you might want to ask yourself why the entire culture is utterly saturated with mass media entertainment from all sides while the educational system in America continues its stupefying downward slide since the US government decided to take over and subsidize the public school system what your government pays for it gets when we understand that then we look at government financed institutions of education and see the kind of students and the kind of education that's being turned out by these government financed schools logic will tell you that if what is being turned out in those schools was not in accord with what the state and the federal government wanted then it would change it the bottom line is that the government is getting what they have ordered they do not want your children to be educated they do not want you to think too much that is why our country and our world has become so proliferated with entertainments mass media television shows amusement parks drugs alcohol and every kind of entertainment to keep the human mind entertained
The longer a person watches television, the more easily the brain slips into alpha level, a slow, steady brainwave pattern in which the mind is in its most receptive mode. Images and suggestions are implanted directly into the mind without viewer participation. An effect of hypnosis is induced and the viewer surrenders to the unending television image stream. The ancient Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan was built as an isolated retreat where monks could practice their Buddhist faith and where a night out meant a round of archery and a good knees up. It was a real Shangri-La of peace and harmony. That is until 1998 when the king finally gave in and introduced cable television in 47 channel Technicolor. Its impact was immediate. You couldn't have set up a better scientific experiment to show how television affects society if you tried. Suddenly the Bhutanese became faster consumers than the Beckhams. Farmers who previously their only thought was which go, which ceremonial robe they were going to wear in winter or in summer, the light one or the heavy one. They wanted a certain kind of oil for their tractor. Their wife, they wanted a certain kind of soap. And skin whitening products that now become tremendously, uh, aggressively marketed and that young girls are now asking, demanding their parents for. And it was found in some of the outlying towns that there were girls who were the first time prostituting themselves to raise money to buy the most basic things they were seeing on TV. <coughs> And it doesn't stop there. Traditional activities have been replaced by goggling at the box. 35% of parents prefer to watch TV than to talk to their children. 50% of children watch more than 12 hours of TV every day. And worryingly, some might say predictably, violent crime is on the increase. There have been one or two pretty hideous murders that have taken place with great violence and a few crimes that have been motivated by um, heroin, which um, people have begun to smoke. And certainly this was a fairly drug-free society, apart from probably the odd crafty grass joint that was passed around by farmers. But despite the adverse effects, does the government regret introducing television? Television is really a means to knowledge. And knowledge is empowerment. And empowerment is what this country wants to provide to its people. Childhood culture has changed dramatically. Kids, this is a toy you've got to have. Look at the fun Debbie and Andy are having with these realistic Ridem toys. Although it's true there was advertising to children back in the 1950s, the 1960s, even in the 70s, the amount of it was very confined in comparison to today. You want to get a sleep. From the time children come into the world, everyone's trying to make them a consumer. You had better wake up and understand that there are people who are guiding your life and you don't even know it. Less than 3% of you people read books. Because less than 15% of you read newspapers. Because the only truth you know is what you get over this tube. Right now, there is a whole, an entire generation that never knew anything that didn't come out of this tube. This tube is the gospel, the ultimate revelation. This tube can make or break presidents, popes, prime ministers. This tube is the most awesome goddamn force in the whole godless world. And woe is us if it ever falls into the hands of the wrong people.